Hello, welcome to Ekidel. We are with Twin Festival as a trial engineer. My name is Justice Mwaka and I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you how to apply a pin support in product structure and also how to design a cantilever of about 3 meter or thereabouts in product structure. So basically, this is a steel structure and all that. And before we used um, this pin support, there was a reason why we used that and all that because at default, even in manual design, the most popular type of support is a fixed support at the base and all that because that's the most popular, yeah, and all that. But there are some conditions you have to use either a pin support or a roller support. So since fixed support is the most popular, most softwares tends to make fixed support as a default um, support system and all that. So in that right now, I'll be showing you how to change your fixed support to a pin support or how to change um, support system in product structure here when applying your design either in concrete or in steel. But basically, is pin support is actually in um, steel structures and all that, although you can still apply it in concrete structures in some cases, okay? Then also, if you now, if I now move on to the interactive design, or um, to the design interface of this building, you will see that the three meter cantilever is a bit fading here and all that. So I will also show you um, what to do to make them pass and all that. Because most of the times when you're designing for a steel structure and you have a cantilever, um, uh, you, you have a cantilever beam or, of a steel and if the cantilever is too long, more than one meter, you begin to have issues on that design or that, okay? That's fine. So I'll be showing you um, how to take care of um, issues about cantilevers and all that when it's failing in steel structures, okay? That's fine. But for them right now, let me go and show you first how to assign a pin support at the base, okay? That's fine then. So right now, I'll then go back to um, the, the other view, model view here. And then from model view now, I will then move on to, um, sorry, model view of um, of this place. Let me just come down right now. Okay, model interface. Um, yeah, back to this place here. Correct, that's fine. So from this from this model view now, I will then take it back to um, to the fixed support, how it was before, how it is from, from the default, okay? So I will then come now, highlight all the columns here. Don't forget that I've already run the the um, this building design already, but I'll just cancel that. So I'll come now, click on this, just highlight this, okay? Then I'll come now, right click now, and then do what? Say properties here. Then now display this table for me. Now on this table right now, you can see that on, on the support here, they are all pin support under that. I will then come now, click on this place here, and then click on this um, color-wise color -wise edit here. I'll say yes, cancel building analysis design. And then I'll then come now, pick back to default how it was before and then click on what um okay here that's fine so i like to click on close so you can now see that it does not turn back to what to fix support which is the default of how it was before i know that now all this um all these things you're seeing here means they're very, very important they means moment and, and all that okay so right now this is now a fixed support which is a default when it comes to put a structure um support okay base support that's is that's the support system and then right now i will then come on to um to, to for it now creates a pin support or any or roller support you would then have to do what come to this place that says what model uh interface here now on this model interface now you then come here that says what support type now on the support type now you then see this um interface now that says support type or definitions okay now on this place now you'll be able to create a new one by using this plus sign here okay so on this plus sign, you can see that we already have what pin support and pin support 2 and all that i can choose to delete this if i want and then let me just delete this again right now and so basically this is how it will look like in your own case now and on this now i'll then click on what to now create a new support i'll then come here and do what and then click on this here now on this place they will ask you to do what to type in the name of the support you want so i'll come now and then type what pin support i'll just come and put what pin here um pin okay that's fine so on this now this is now a pin support and then i'll do what come now then do what click on what okay 
so with this now i have now added what a new support what definition which is pain okay this default here is a fixed okay so with this now since you have not defined a pin support you will now have to do what provide what um the type of what restraint that you want okay so on this restraint i can see that we have what on x and y so i can come now and say okay this is the, the first one you're seeing here is what a fixed support the next one here is a pin support and the last one here is what roller support okay so i'll then come now and click on what i want to assign what pin support i'll come now and do what click on pin pin okay so i want to apply pin support okay I'll pin pin that's fine and on this now i'll then come now and I click on what okay here so on this okay now you can see that i have not created what i've not done what i have not defined a new support system called what pin okay having a pin what um restraint okay so on this now to now assign the pin to the base of my column here as my, as my, as my own support system i will then come again right now highlight this again okay and on this now i will then right click again now and do what say properties here and on this i will then come here to, to this place here that says support system you can see that they are all what default i will then come now click on this place that says what support type okay that's fine and i'll now come now and then click on this place that says what column was edit here that has a pencil icon paper and on this now i'll then click on this drop down arrow and then click on what pin but so all so all the support types we have done what will just be this if you have roller it will it will also be here too okay that's fine so i'll come and do what let what my pin support here and then say okay and then you can see that they have all changed to what pin support and then i'm not do what come here and do what close here okay so you can see that they are all what they are, they are now what pin support here as you can see okay so this is how to create your pin support in what product structure either for concrete structure or for steel structure okay but basically is uh, it uh, you you use on um, pin support and all that widely in steel structures okay although you can still use it in concrete structure but wherever you want to use it either pin or either concrete structure or steel structure there must be a reason why you have to use it okay and all that now since you have since you have applied a pin support what you're saying is that there is no moment at the base okay that means the base reaction based on moment is what zero knowing that moment in pin at pin end or pin support is what zero okay that's fine so basically there is a reason why we apply this on this structure and all that okay so with this now you have not learned how to do what um apply a pin support and all that now if you are a younger engineer if you're a student i would advise you not not to use pin support except you have a reason for doing that okay but this video will help a lot for professional engineers and all that but I believe you have not known how to apply a pin support or a roller support in product structure, okay? Okay, let us try one of the, let us try this one not to be a roller support, just this one here. Let me see this this last one here to be a roller support, okay? That's fine. So the same thing again right now, I will then come again right now, model here and support type here. And then the um, new one and then come here and type in here to be what? Roller, roller. Sorry, ruler support and all that. Sorry, that's sorry for that. Okay, ruler support, and then I'll come now and do what type what um okay, that's fine. So on this now, I'll then come now and click on choose my what um restrain as ruler, and then come now and click on what um okay here. Okay, that's fine. So if I want to apply that now to this, I'll just do what click on this column here alone that I want to apply the ruler support. Right click here and do what properties uh, properties okay, let me just do that right now um, properties here correct properties that's fine and then I'll now come now and then um, okay I don't want like this this one can take time let me just click, click here still come here and 3d here and then come here and choose what um, ruler support here and then do what um, update that's fine okay so you can see this is what they call roller support here as you can see okay it has only one restraint as you can see that so this is what roller support here as you can see that right now but i want to do what apply what a pin support in this structure okay so i will come now change it back to what pin supports and all that and i will come now and then come here and back to what pin support and then do an update okay so basically yeah then close now okay that's fine so now one of the problems we encountered 
join this um, design for this stick structure and that was for this cantilever you're seeing here and all that so these cantilevers we are failing and all that so what we did was to provide what a bracing okay so you can see if i run the building if the, the building aligns is now but then let me just save first so on saving now okay you can see that if we go back to um, our design status here since we have already done changes okay you will see that everything will be showing what yellow and all that that because we have tampered with the what with the already um uh, result okay so right now if i now go back to analysis results here and then bin analysis now okay and then come to analysis here and then come to here right now analysis here and since there is no concrete um member here i'm not going to choose um concrete member i'll just choose steel structure okay so i'll come down and choose what steel i don't have concrete okay so i'll choose steel and all that and then click on what bidding analysis here and i'll do what i like to do what finish okay i know that okay so it is 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 uh, almost done okay it is almost done let's just look for that okay so why wait for you to finish up the design i would like you that if this if you're new on ekide here please consider subscribing and also uh, recommend your friends and colleagues to also um come and learn what we're doing here on ekide i know that here on ekide we are focused in training um future and younger engineers in structural design and all that okay so let's also don't for that to just um complete now and all that why wait for that to finish up and then also give this video a thumbs up and all that and if you have any um question regarding what they've done so far you can drop your um question down on the comment section and all that then if you want to purchase any of our product course videos and all that on flat slab design with, 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 with that colon drop and um, stone bridge template and, um, and, and to see everything we have on our online store you can check on our about page and you will see ekidel online store link okay you can go there and then purchase all the course videos you want to purchase and everything you want to purchase on ekidel here that's fine okay and also if you want to learn more about social design our advice to you to join what ekidel mentorship um training okay there's a reason for that because there are some things we will not be able to say here on, on on this video because we are trying to do a target time duration but on that place you will be you will have one-on-one -on -one training with ekidel engineers and all that and we'll be able to train you in what design of structures from first principle okay so basically here um, and we, we are doing the video recording we no be able to show you everything you need to know because of time duration but in academic mentorship class you'll be able to um learn everything you need to know because you can be able to ask questions because it's a one-on-one -on -one live training okay and one of the way also to also gain knowledge or so is also to purchase our course video because our uh, course videos we took our time to explain a lot on course video. okay that's fine so right so right now you can see that we are having what story drift is what okay uh, and all that so just do what now click on what okay right now and then do what right now and then click on what um close here yeah, that's fine so you can see that everything now is okay except this um this column here this um being here that has a cantilever is failing and also this one also we still provided a brazen if, even if it is it is passing all that we just have to buy what a brace on the okay? and then this column here also is also um fading here okay that's nice so let me just make this column not to pass if i go there right now click on, on, on this column right now right click now and then you will see here yeah, that says what still member design then click on that one right now and then i like to do what display the interface and all that okay so on displaying this and i can see that it is fading based on what you ratio and all that so it this this now requires you to do what increase the size of the steel okay which is the section of the steel so i'll come now we are using uh, we are using the um, hs and because this 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 is designed based on what based on um aci code and all that so i'll come now and do what change section here okay and then i'll go to what hs right now okay so currently we are using what hs five point um um five point uh, one and a half so i'll come now and choose what the next um thickness here and i'll come and do what okay here that's select and then do what um okay and it will display here if it's okay or not okay you can see that right now it's okay 0 0.854 against what 1.0 that's fine i'll come and do what click on what okay here okay now once you click okay once your design is okay you do what right now right click somewhere here anywhere on empty space and then you do what update what update here and then that'll be fine okay so you can see that this is how to do what um modify or check your design for steel columns if it is fitting okay that's fine so for the beams here right now i want to apply what a steel brazing because even if i apply a higher 
um, if I want, if, if I want to go higher, it is still fading. Okay, based on what deflection. Okay, like now, if I go now go and check my design right now, you can see that it is fading based on what deflection because of the word cantilever is too lengthy. Now that you can see that it's fading right now based on what deflection here, as you can see. Can you see that right now? Everything here is okay, but it's fading based on the, so even if we go and change our session size in here right now, we are using what um w um it's 821 and all that but even if we go and increase to any number you can see that it will still be failing all that because it's failing based on what deflection okay that's fine you can see that it, it's not going to pass okay it's still failing so what is needed right now is for you to provide a diagonal bracing and all that for you to be able to carry the um to carry the uh, what is happening here uh, which is the reaction and all that that's, that's happening around this cantilever edge here and all that so right now i'll just take you now because like i said again this is a life design and all that so i'll take you now to where we applied the diagonal brazen okay and all that so if i go now and then open up a my we are applied diagonal brazen right now because this is a second review yeah correct so you can see here that says what with brazen okay so if i open this up right now they will ask me, I'll say yes, just say first what they've done before. So you can see right now, you'll be able to show, I will show you right now, maybe I will apply the diagonal brazen, okay? And all that, okay? That's fine. So let us, I like to now come up now. It's coming up just now. Fine. So you can see right now that you can now see that we apply diagonal brazen. Can you see that right now? We apply diagonal brazen on this, okay? And by doing that, everything was okay. As you can see, everything looks perfectly okay right now. Because we apply diagonal brazen on that. So if you now check right now, the same size of steam could, uh, beam that was failing before, if you now check the same size right now, you can see that everything now looks okay. Because we have we, we have sent we have been able to what um take uh, reduce that uh deflection that was failing. As you can see right now, it's not perfectly okay right now, based on before that it was failing, and the size is still what 21 um, 8 by 21. Okay, that's fine. So you can now see that everything now looks okay. So this is how to basically um, take care of cantilever when it comes to steel structures and all that. When it's failing based on based on and cantilevers and that, you can apply. Although there are many methods of doing that, okay. But for this, this is the perfect method we would have choose to um, um, take care of that effect because this is a small building. This is a small steel structure and. A, Applying other methods can might not be cost um, effective, okay? By by increasing this the steel station might might, might might not be that cost effective and that, okay? That's fine. Okay, so thank you so much and God bless you. We love you and bye for now, okay? Thank you then. Bye for then for now.